You are a corpse in Russia. This little robot brings you back to life. This is Ghost. They tell you to steal a spaceship and go to the last city. After you get to the city, you realize that shit's lame and decide to go to the moon. You see a dead guardian, then Ghost picks up a radio signal telling you to go to Venus. You go to Venus and meet a dumb, thick robot who tells you about some evil time-traveling robots, the Vex, and their home, the Black Garden. You ask the Blue Man group, Mara and Aldrin Sav, where the Black Garden is. They want you to kill a big robot, you do that, then go to Mars, find a portal, walk in it, into the Black Garden, and kill their god. You are rewarded with a blue. Then you walk into a paradox and kill some robot time gods with five other people. A long time ago, Osiris sent a bunch of guardians to the Vault of Glass. They didn't fare so well. Praetith? Maybe he exists. Who knows if he ever really did. And this is Kabir. This is him now. And Pahanan, he talks who's gone now. And to flex on those nerds, we go into the vault to clap some robo cheeks. Unfortunately, the robots can control time itself, so you destroy parts of this Vex supercomputer piece by piece before it erases you or becomes more powerful. And much like Killer Bean, you tell them to turn down the music before unleashing a can of whoop ass. After your triumph in the Black Garden, the Queen thinks you're cute. Uh, not really, though. And wants you to do her dirty work. So, Queen Mara Sov tells Queen's Wrath, Petrovenge, to tell you, the Guardian, who to kill, and for some monotonous bounty grinding and some missions with a few modifiers, you get weapons and armor that are purple in both rarity and color. The queen leaves you on red for half a year and then DMs you when Skolos escapes the prison of elders. A boomer wants you to be better at fighting because he's sad that all his friends are dead. So he wants you to shoot your friends with light level advantages enabled to celebrate the tradition of Risen unceremoniously slaughtering weaker light bearers during the Dark Age. You know, because I have different opinions. And as a reward for killing your friends, you get some cool armor and some really strong weapons so you could go back in there and do it again in a month. A hive god named Crota takes a nap after committing genocide. And then some spooky bitch named Eris Morn asks you to help her after her trash raid team got wiped. You kill a bunch of high-ranking Hive as they try to control the Russian ballet-loving AI warmind Rasputin. You break a crystal that has Crota's soul in it. Then you go kill his wife. After that, you stroll up in his crib and then unplug your router and slap him around with his own sword. Also, y'all are horn. Crota wiped out a raid team. But, like, not really. And also, thousands of other guardians. In the search for vengeance, you force yourself into another dimension, but the darkness is weighing on you, slowing you, and freezing you to a halt. And you, you kill some thralls, and after that, you make a bridge. Uh, and, and then you kill death. And then you throw your router out of the window. And Wait, uh, I, I mean, you bludgeon Crota with his own sword as the rest of your team runs a train on him with G-Horn. Necrochasm has many names. There's... Some Guardian's Gun. The same Guardian, but dead. It's Gun. The same Gun, but Hive. The Husk of the Pit. Aedalon Ally. And now, Necrochasm and occasionally trash. To get it, you need to kill more and more Hive until it gets marginally better. And whatever else it wants you to do, and eventually you have to kill Crota multiple times to finally get Necrochasm. And after you do that, you can finally tickle enemies at unprecedented speeds. Some big fallen boy tells the blue man group to go fuck themselves, claiming to be the Kel of Kells. Marasov's one-eyed simp, Petra, 
and the Warden of the Prison of Elders, Varix, help you find and capture the big, mean, fallen boy, Skolas, who has been recruiting fallen from houses other than his own. You subdue Skolas. Then, you put him in prison, so that you can beat the ever-living shit out of him every week for the Warden's enjoyment. Looking back at it, I award the House of Wolves one singular yike. Uh, oh yeah, also Trials is a thing now. Some blind guy shows up in the reef and invites you and your friends to shoot other guardians in the name of Space David Koresh. I mean, Osiris. If you win, you get some of the coolest armor in the game and some of the best weapons. But if you get seven wins without losing, they're even cooler weapons. You just have to hope that you don't get matched with, you know, cheaters, someone that's going to DDoS you, or people wearing the Hakka emblem. Remember when you killed Crota? Yeah, well his dad, Oryx, isn't too happy about that, so he comes to the solar system to clap your cheeks. The blue man group tries to stop him, but Oryx doesn't like to be stopped, so his ship releases the biggest fart ever ripped. The blue man group is no more. Mara, dead. Aldrin, screaming. Oryx then unleashes his cosmic spawn across the solar system. Cade tells you to get on Oryx's ship and shut down the weapon. And then you have to fight Oryx. But in order to do that, you have to be a hive god. So you go to Crota's funeral and you take his soul and you wear it. Then you call Oryx a bitch and then you kill him. But psych, Oryx has taken Oryx. You go to the raid, you play some basketball, and then you kill a very large Oryx. This is Oryx now. Feel old yet? After killing Oryx for the first time, you look at his sword and think, Wow, that was really cool. And decide to make your own. So naturally, you run around the Dreadnought, picking up flakes and calcified fragments to form a blade like a Forged in Fire challenge. You then use that blade to kill Ekthar. After that, you resource farm and get ability kills until everything goes numb, and boom! You have one of the highest DPS weapons in the game. Or you picked Boltcaster. Do you remember when you killed Oryx? Well, he kinda took himself to make sure he'd live forever. And you just can't have that, so you go with a fire team of six to the Court of Oryx to open up a portal to the Ascendant Realm. You jump through a jumping puzzle, and after that you play possibly the greatest game of 3v3 pickup basketball that's ever been played. Then you get branded over and over again until the war priest deems you worthy enough to kill them. So you kill them. Then you go to the wine cellar and you kill an ogre while standing in some splooge. Now that you've done that, it's time to fight Oryx, a very large Oryx. So you go to kill him and his daughters while traveling through different dimensions, eventually sending Oryx's corpse into Saturn. You have killed Oryx. And now, as a guardian, it is your legal obligation to turn his sorry ass into a gun. With the help of Eris Morn, you infuse Oryx's soul into a scout rifle. After killing him again. And believe me when I tell you, it hurts. Yes, not only does it hurt enemies, but it also hurts you, as it hurts enemies. And after all that, now you have the best weapon for Oryx DPS. In until it gets nerfed. Oh, yeah, and Oryx wanted to be turned into a gun this whole time, so... Remember that super overpowered sniper rifle from the Crota's End raid? Well, Bungie sunset it. But hey, look, there's something weird happening in today's heroic story mission, Lost to Light. Instead of going the normal way, you go to Tanix's catch, which is now covered in Taken Splooge. So, like a janitor, you clean out the Taken corruption and kill a Taken who looks suspiciously like Tanix to receive Black Hammer. Shit, I mean Whisper. Fuck! I mean Black Spindle. You can also get it from killing Ute in the Age of Triumph version of Crota's End, I guess. 
during a mission in the Vault of Glass, you find a dead ghost. So naturally, you bring it to that racist scrap heap, Lakshmi 2, who tells you to pay her for the next step. You do that, and then you kill some Minotaurs, then Atheon. You take his eye, and you give it to Lakshmi. Then, you look for a chest at Twilight Gap. And you run around the Black Garden for a bit. Bada bing, bada boom. You have an infinite ammo primary that is a remake of a vanilla Destiny blue weapon. Claimed to be the new G-Horn, Sleeper is a fusion rifle, but heavy. You get it by collecting fusion rifles and giving them to Banshee. But the Taken have infiltrated Rasputin. Again. And you have to watch them spawn in order to solve a puzzle. You go back to Kate's stash to find a part for the sleeper. And go to the Ishtar archives, find another part, and beat Warsats on three different destinations. After that, you talk to Banshee, kill the Saber 2 Shank... And then you talk to Banshee again. Boom. Done. Heavy fusion rifle that shoots one beam that can deal precision damage a lot like Queen Breaker, but just big. Once you get some clout with Banshee, Tex Mechanica tells him to tell you to get some hand cannon kills. So you kill things with a hand cannon. After that, they send you a cool new hand cannon. It's white, and it's called Imprecation. With Imprecation, you get seven Guardian kills with headshots. Then, you need to get headshots as fast as possible in PvE. Like, shoot as fast as you possibly can. After that, you get to wait a week. Boom! You got Tex Mechanica's worst weapon. It's a 110 hand cannon, not 120 with no damage perks, only 8 shots, but it does have slightly longer range. Tex Mechanica is holding another contest. This one is through the shipwright, but it's not for a ship. It's a gun, a shotgun. In fact, it's actually a slug shotgun. First, you needed to learn how to use the last word, as if that's difficult, being that it two shots. Then you go kill things with shotguns. And the final thing you need to do is kill two more things with shotguns. Specifically, the Shield Brothers. And congrats, you have a shotgun that only one shots on headshots. And it won't really shine for a few more years. Welcome to the Sparrow Racing League. Yes, a racing game mode within a looter shooter. The kicker is, SRL is actually fun. In the Sparrow Racing League, you compete against other Guardians in Sparrow Racing. But somehow the organizers forgot to clear the track of hostile enemies, so as you and your friends are engaging in friendly competition, you have to dodge Scorch Cannons and Torch Hammers. But seriously, how many Eververse Sparrows are there? Why, why hasn't SRL returned in Destiny 2? <laughs> Bungie, I need to flex my micro mini. Varix has been very bored since the death of Skolas, so he requests that you go hunt down and arrest Malak, the next in line for Oryx's throne, so that you can fight him week after week for the enjoyment of Varix. Eris wisely advises you to kill Malak instead. Varix is not pleased with this, but he still wants you to beat up his prisoners, which now include the Taken. You can also acquire Taken armor and weapons, and they talk to you. Honestly, why did we support Varix and his sadistic tendencies? I, I give Varix a Texas, the betrayed, out of Psylocke, the defiled. Warning, Guardian. A virus has escaped a Braytech facility on Mars and is quickly spreading throughout the Crucible. The Vanguard is divided on how to handle this viral outbreak. But before the Cryptarchs can truly understand this virus, it mutates. Four times. But now we have no need to fear. The Owl Sector is on this case. And they've come up with information that links this virus to SIVA. And they've made an informative website on where all this virus has spread. Using all this information and a deep knowledge of cryptography, 
you may be able to open the final chest in the Wrath of the Machine raid. Lord Salad Bar requests your help fighting Fallen, but this isn't your average Fallen. They have the Robo Clap. Salad Bar tells you about how Rasputin used Siva to kill the other Iron Lords, and how it needs to be eliminated. Shiro 4, the absolute Chad that he is, helps you find the high-ranking Fallen who have spliced themselves with Siva. You find the Siva Replication Chamber and fight Siva using a big axe while it inhabits the bodies of the dead Iron Lords. Saladabar makes you an Iron Lord after that, and he gives you a, a pretty subpar sword. You then hunt down and kill the Fallen Priest that found Siva. Shiro makes a gun out of Siva behind Saladin's back. I don't even know if most of this is canon anymore. Um, oh yeah, play game. For starters, you need to sit there and scan in a specific area. Then you need to find not one, not two, not three, but seven medallions. Because Bungie. After you catch them all, you travel to Bannerfall, the place where a faction tried to usurp the other factions and the Vanguard. No, not future war cult and Lakshmi. It's also where Crux Lomar made their rocket launchers. You, you collect some SIVA clusters and then return to Bannerfall to kill Fallen as your ghost repairs the G-Horn. And boom! The most legendary exotic in Destiny franchise. And Iron G-Horn, I guess. Remember the first weapon you ever held as a guardian? Well, there are rumblings in the Plaguelands that the Kvostov is back, but exotic. So you run around the Plaguelands to murder a specific servitor on a specific catch, or you could just dismantle your original Kvostov. Then you run around the Plaguelands, hunting for weapon parts and schematics. Then you give them all to Shiro, and he tells you to kill a fallen captain, and boom, you have the Kvostov, an exotic whose perk is to have too many selectable perks. This is Vosik. He is the Archpriest of the Devil Splicers who use Siva to modify their bodies. You need to kill him. To do so, you run around in circles collecting an electrical charge, then you touch some fallen machines, and bombs drop on the ground. You throw those at Vosik to kill him, but psych, he dips. You chase him through the complex, throw more bombs, then hide in rooms, and like the lock picking lawyer, you shoot the lock, and then you take over a giant siege engine, kill Axis, while he's stuck like a Sep sister. Then he attaches himself to some spider legs, forcing you to spam Dark Drinker at him. Do you like math? Do you like pulse rifles? Do you like puzzles? Well, do I have the quest for you, Buckaroo? First, you need to go to the Wrath of the Machine raid and stare at some spooky monitors. But wait, you can't get to one of them. Looks like you need to use some of the info you found in the Owl Sector ARG to decipher some binary codes in the diamond rooms to open the big diamond in the center of the room. Then you need one of each class in your fire team, and of course ask your titan to not chew on his crayons because you have some math homework to do. And there's some chores in between assignments, and boom, you have weaponized Siva. Raids are fun, and the speaker agrees, so now you can do all three raids, and Crota's end, at endgame light levels. But along with the increase of level comes new loot. Yeah, all those raid primaries have two versions now. The legendary version, which is kinetic, and the exotic version, which is exactly the same as the legendary version, but it has an element attached to it. But let's not forget about the new Necrochasm quest, and Nightfall modifiers like Rainbow Burn and Daybreak, which turns PvE into mayhem. Oh, I, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Yeah, probably not too important. 